Hi guys, how are you doing? So today I am going to let you know something about sampling and population. So let me take to you guys to my PPT. So guys, here we come at our sampling and population PPT. So now, guys, what is sampling? As you can see over here, sampling is just a statistical procedure that is concerned with the selection of any individual observation. Or you can say, in stats guys, a sample is just a set of data that is collected or that is randomly selected from a, a pure population for making sub observations. And guys, there are some such different kinds of sampling that how can we make some samples. So it can be a simple random, it can be systematic, it can be cluster, and so on. So guys, uh, we can say that in stats, a sample is just a part of population where a population is just a whole. Now guys, I let you know something about population. So in stats guys, a population uh, population refers to the total set of observations. For instance guys, let's say if we are just studying a weight of adult woman or a weight of uh, anything in the world, so the population is the set of all the women in the world so guys now i let you know the types of sampling so basically as you can see over there there are four different types of or four methods of sampling the first one is simple random sampling the second one is systematic random sampling the third one is cluster sampling and the fourth is stratified random sampling so guys simple random sampling it's just a method of something or you can say that includes that in each and that each and everything have an equal chance of getting in from population we, are, we can also use run between in excel to show the observation let me take you guys to excel so guys here we come on my excel now i gonna let you know that how to use excel sheet for making some sampling i just use this sheet for a simple random sampling for and i use over here a ran between formula so guys what i did i just wrote uh, any 15 15 names over here it can be from your organizations it can be your colleagues that or it can be your mates or it can be any one of them i just wrote 15 names over here and right after that i just note the numeric 15 right from 1 to 15 as you can see over here and i need to take out any sample of seven people but uh, in the random sampling but i don't know how to do that so guys what you need to do you just need to come over here and after just go to a place and after that just go over here at the insert function click that and type r a n d b e t w w plus ran between type ran between over there and you can see this thing this ran between formula just pick that up I just see that, and as you can see over here, the functions arguments where we just need to write the upper file, the upper uh, value, and the lowest value. So I just showed uh, the first value and after the last one. And what it comes? 13. So it means 13 number that is wrong is the first. Same as that, at the second, I just need to do it once again. Just go around between it. Okay, and the numbers are 1, and after it's 15. A number goes to eight, and the third one I have to do it same. Just go over here like three right here. Choose random between right from one. And the last is fifteen, and the random sample comes two. So we I have to do it till then. I gotta drag it to m. So it's all the random between. As you can see over here, it's all the random between. And after, just write the name over here, whatever it feels like that. J O H N. John is here. On the 10. Uh, is here. And so on. If you see something that uh, some numbers repeat, like this over here, 10 repeats, so just do it once again. Because every time it changes. So, guys, in simple random sampling, I'm using just a second example to explain you guys. So in simple random sampling guys, we just need to, you know, uh, pick out just a random samples and it can be any, like anyone or anything, right? 
for example, if you just talk about the people living in a herd, right? So over there, 16 people, population of 16 people are there. And if we just need to, you know, take out just uh, randomly four, so it can be any one of them. It can be this, it can be this, it can be this, it can be this. It just, just because it's a simple random something. Let's say we're just taking uh, this one or uh, this one. So they all are same, quite just a simple random sampling. We can choose any one of them. There is now second type of sampling. That's systematic random sampling. As you can see here guys, systematic random sampling is just a sampling where at every kth individual or every kth is selected. K can be, like you can see, any fifth number, any hundredth number, or any hundredth number, or it can be any quite just a uh, it's a systematic in the way it is, right? K is calculated by by the weight of uh, by the population size dividing by the sample size. Now I'm gonna show you one example that will clear you up. So guys, now I'll let you know one example for the systematic random sampling. So basically, it's a sample where every K individual is selected. Let's say if I choose a population of hundred people. So that the kth person could be any sixth person, it can be any twenty-first person, it can be fiftieth person, but it can be a hundred person, right? So I just took an example over here where I just make a population for eighteen people. So the population, my the size of population is eighteen. Then my n could be a six. So n could be the six, and population's of size is eighteen. So that's why I just picked. The sample for every third person. You can see over here, third, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, and eight. And it makes me a sample size of six. So in the end, I would like to say guys, thank you so much. Thank you for watching my video. Okay, thank you.